As Christmas is quickly approaching, we'd like to take time in this devotional to prepare our hearts from God's Word as we prepare to celebrate Christmas. Now, most likely, you know the story of Jesus' parents, Joseph and Mary, who were in Bethlehem, and the only place available for them was essentially a parking lot, a stable, and the manger? That's the feeding pen for the animals, and that's where they they laid Jesus. Listen to how Luke describes this in chapter 2, verse 6. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no lodging available for them. You know, for me, it's truly amazing that the arrival of the Messiah foretold and anticipated for centuries well when he finally arrives he's born in a stable a cave and a place to kind of park the animals instead of coming to earth as a pampered privileged prince the king of kings came humbly his first bed was a manger this shows us that Jesus he's approachable he's accessible he he's available to all of us you see Christmas is about God's son Jesus who came for you, who came for me, and was laid in a manger. And he came to meet our greatest need. You know, if our greatest need would have been information, think God would have sent Google. If our greatest need would have been more technology, maybe Elon Musk would be what God would have sent. But see, our greatest need is a savior. And that's why Jesus ultimately came. It's like the author of Hebrews writes in chapter two, verse 14. Because God's children are human beings, made of flesh and blood, the Son also became flesh and blood. For only as a human being could he die, and only by dying could he break the power of the devil, who had the power of death. Only in this way could he set free all who have lived their lives as slaves to the fear of dying. And in verse 17 he says, it was necessary for him to be made in every respect like us, his brothers and sisters, so that he could be our merciful and faithful high priest before God. Then he could offer a sacrifice that would take away the sins of the people. You see, God sent his son laid in a manger, available, accessible for us, and to be approachable by all of us. Why? To take away our sins, to be our savior. This is what makes Christmas meaningful. This is what makes Christmas merry and bright. And as we prepare to celebrate Christmas in just a few days, because of who Jesus is and what he's done, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas.